Okay then guys, this is uh, this, this waterfall here, what is it? Morpang Waterfall. Morpang Waterfall. That has to be the space. We are going to go have a look now. This place is so tranquil, so, so tranquil. What a thing to do, just jump on your motorbike and just pop out into the sticks. Oh, it's bright. Yeah, really stunning. So, the vibe I'm getting from Pi at the moment, I don't know if you guys are getting it too. The vibe I'm getting is that uh, this is definitely a place to chill, to relax, to spend some time in nature, and yeah, all in all, just have a nice time. Touristy? There's no two ways about that. This is a touristy, touristy place. But it's touristy in kind of a good way. Usually I hate touristy places, but I guess I can live with it here. It's so nice to be outside and in these beautiful places. But yeah, it's all right. Okay, so the challenge is we have like six more things to see today, because I'm only here today. So we've got to see all of these things in the day. We've seen two of them, we've seen the first viewpoint, lovely. We've seen the waterfall, very nice. We've got another waterfall now, a guy's out of hot spring, but two temples, and then hopefully we're back to the hostel. So, let's go. Okay, so that is now, what was the last waterfall called? I don't know, but it was beautiful. It was beautiful, it was really, really beautiful. But so we've seen two of the waterfalls, one of which totally dried up like the canyon one. We're on our way up to something new. This is now this thing number eight we're gonna see today. Uh, the Bamboo Bridge, which is like a kilometer further up after that last waterfall, which was, I'll try and remember and I'll try and tell you. Uh, apparently the roads are going to get really bad after that, so we're not going to go much further. But then back down to a couple more viewpoints, backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. Hopefully we're going to see a lot today and you're going to get a good idea of what Pi is about. It's a bit of a race though to try and get to all of these places in time, which is quite good fun. A little bit of a challenge involved, I like it. Look at what we've just found. I mean, we were just driving along like, uh, let's stop for something for lunch. Can't get lunch, can get smoothies. But look at Smoothie Town. Look at this place. some good food in there. We are now heading a little bit further up. There's a bamboo bridge. Did you see it in the clip just then? Like you flew over this bamboo bridge. We're gonna go see that because it's supposed to be really cool. And hopefully there's some actual food in this village because I am so hungry right now. bamboo bridge I found a nice place to sit I'm about to fly the drone so you guys can have a look it's pretty impressive actually uh, it goes over the rice paddy fields this is another one though that I'd probably suggest you come to when it's the wet season and no, well, not the wet season but, you know when there's water around in the paddy fields because it would be incredible if there was water in the paddy fields I really do mean that this place would just be stunning I wish it was wet right now but it's not so I'm gonna make do with some nice dry paddy field shots enjoy I am 
am walking through a mini Thai paradise. I did not expect this. After the hustle and bustle of Pai as a town, coming out here was the last thing I expected. I'm on the bamboo bridge, which as I said was another one that I've added into today's super fast speedy tour. The crank tour we'll call it. And uh, it's my favourite stop so far. Seeing the waterfalls is very pleasant, but I've seen a lot of waterfalls and much better ones than those ones. This though is something different completely. This is just awesomely cool. Okay then guys, here I am at the Pai Canyon. It is basically a hill with many a precipice dropping off a, a long, long way down. Um, I'm not going to stick here for sunset. I want to go see the White Buddha before the end of the day, but this apparently is the place to come for sunset. So Made it, ice cream to celebrate. I cannot believe we actually managed this. We managed to, uh, I reckon, 60%, maybe 70% of everything there is to see in the Pie Valley in one day. And not even one day, I got up really late. So here it is, the last spot we're going to see the White Buddha at the top. This is where we're stopping for our sunset. It should get a view right over the valley, and we should be able to see the sun setting behind the mountains. It's going to be awesome, as long as there is a sunset and it doesn't fail completely like it did last night. We're, we're going to see what happens.